Armand Point was a French painter, engraver and designer who was associated with the Symbolist movement and was one of the founders of the Salon de la Rose plus Croix. Later he formed his own atelier. Sources differ over the details of his birth and death. Personal life, Point was born in Algiers, and died in either Naples, or Marlet, saint marne Early career, Point's earliest works were Orientalist scenes of markets and musicians and the street life of his youth in Algeria. In 1888 he travelled to Paris where he studied at the École des Beaux-Arts under Auguste Hurst and Fernand Corman. He was linked to Numa Gillet. From 1890 he exhibited at the Socia Copyright Tar Copyright Nationale des Beaux-Arts. Moved towards idealism. Point was influenced by Ruskin and the pre raphaelite Brotherhood and was a member of the First Neighbours Group. In 1894 he made a trip to Italy with Har copyright Luni Linda where he saw Sandro Botticelli's Primavera for the first time outside of an engraving. The experience made a deep impression on him and he wrote that his eyes first opened up on seeing it, leading soon after to attempts to establish a movement in France to resurrect the art of the 15th and 16th centuries. The influence of Botticelli and Leonardo da Vinci became evident in his work, for instance in the C. 1895 Eternal Chimera. Ha copyright Luni Linda became an ideal female model for Point who often painted her in a Leonardesque style but dressed like a muse from Botticelli. Leonardo da Vinci's study for the head of Leda seems to have influenced the hairstyles that he gave Ha copyright Luni. Ha copyright Luni married French diplomat Philippe Bertillot just before the start of the First World War. Philippe Julian described Point as moving, at this time, from a dreamy realism to a detailed idealism. Symbolism Soon, Point was moving towards fully fledged symbolism. He made a determined effort to reject the modern world and the realism of Zola and Corbett. He adopted Rosicrucianism and became a friend of Tsar Center Peladon. Edward Lucy Smith described him as a medievalizing painter, whose style mingled the influence of Maru with that of the pre raphaelites From 1892 to 1896, Point exhibited at the Salon de la Rose plus Croix and with Le Copyright and Arts à Louis he designed the poster for the fifth salon of that group. It depicted the ideal in the form of Perseus holding the decapitated head of a permil Mile Zola in reference to the Greek myth in which Perseus decapitated the Gorgon Medusa. For the symbolists, Zola exemplified in literature the oppressive naturalism they rejected. Subjects at this time were usually mythological, such as his 1897 The Siren which included a typical symbolist femme fatale figure luring men to their doom. Also in 1897, Point contributed an original lithograph titled The Golden Legend to the Lestamp Modern. The journal included four original prints in each issue and Point's was issued in number 5. September 1897. Other artists who contributed included Alphonse Mutcher, Henri Fantin Leighton and Edward Byrne Jones. Atelier de Haute Claire. From 1896 to 1901 Point lived in Marlet, where he founded the Atelier de Haute Claire not far from the home of the Barbizon School. Around the turn of the century, the distinction between the fine and decorative arts was beginning to break down and Point became increasingly interested in the later. He sought to emulate William Morris in revolting against 19th-century materialism and produced applied art, including furniture, jewelry, fabrics, ceramics and wallpaper that harked back to the techniques and styles of the Middle Ages. Everything was handmade to a very high standard of craftsmanship in an effort to avoid the alienating effect of industrial mass production. As a result, however, the products of the atelier were luxury items that could only be purchased by an elite and the project therefore failed to meet one of its key objectives. The symbolist journal Lemitage criticized the works of the Haute Claire group for amounting to religious icons fit only for reverence in a case in a museum and having little to do with the France of today. One such ornate object was the coffret d'Opair copyright lie, a box in the form of a medieval reliquary that referred to the Ophelia of Shakespeare much celebrated by the pre-Raphaelites. The box included bronze, cabocon, champlever copyright enameling, cloisonne copyright, ivory, gold and other expensive materials and techniques. A number of similar boxes exist from the atelier, including an alternative Ophelia box and a coffret of serpents, 
both in the music copyright e dossier. The number of different materials and processes involved in making each box meant that production was complex and a number of different craftsmen were required to make each one, for instance, noted ceramicist Charles Burian. Philippe Julian described the products of the atelier as more neo-Byzantine than Art Nouveau. A diverse group of people visited Haute Claire, including Oscar Wilde just months before his death in 1900. Wilde was in exile in France following imprisonment in Britain. Early and Orientalist works. Symbolist works. Later works. References. Further reading, Dora Copyright, Robert. Armand Point, De l'Orientalisme or Symbolism, 1861 a Euro 1932. Paris, B. Jive and Angeli. ISBN 9782758700661 P. C. Mauclair, S. Merrill A. L. Armand Point A. Sanova, La Plume, Special Issue, Paris 1901. Jamolafond, Jean David. Les Pintes de L.A. sent me, Le Symbolisme I de Copyright Alist en France. Gent, Snook de Carja and Zoan. ISBN 9789053252767. External links, Armand Point and Islamic Architecture, MyLearning.org, Armand Point Nudes, Armand Point Petal Symbolista, Catalogue and Terministic Copyright Riel des Dar Copyright Parti S. Derve Dar de l'Etat à Euro Armand Point, Logiste Haute Claire. Culx Artistes et Visitors.